Wow, the mosquitoes are out in full force tonight, that's for sure. Hello, everyone. It's a little early evening. I'm sorry if it's a little dark. I try to find some places with some decent lighting. Of course, every time I go someplace where there's lighting, uh, the mosquitoes are there to wait for me. Of course, things here in China have gotten much, much better. Um, I still have my mask, I'm wearing it, but when I film, I'm not wearing it. I just have it in my hand here. Uh, I came for a little walk in the village right before I go to my badminton practice because I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, the flip side of all of this. Everyone in the world seems to be concentrating on what they need to concentrate on. But one of the things that I like to do during times like this is do a little paradigm shift. I mean, when all this is over, how are we going to change? Yeah, everyone knows that the world will change forever as a result of all the events of the last few months. But how? We all know that there are some things that we're not going to be able to change on our own, but we can at least change ourselves. Many of you might be aware of the Kluger-Ross model of grief. You know, the five stages, right? The first stage is being denial and isolation. No way, because I'm not done. Second stage being anger. Are you little duck dude? Then fear. What's after fear? What's after fear? Then bargaining. Doc, you gotta get me out of this. I'll make it worth your what? And then finally, acceptance. Well, we all gotta go sometime. But this is a little different because it's kind of ongoing. So I saw this on one of my yoga group's Facebook pages, and I actually agree with a lot of it. I just picked up my car. Feels good. I uh, was out without my car for about a week. It's fine. During the holiday, it was fine. Just rode my bike around. The clutch has been fixed. It's buttery smooth. It definitely gives me a lot more confidence driving around. Um, and the repair was less than they quoted me. They quoted me Sichuan Kwai, uh, about 4,000 RMB, but it turned out to be about 2,600 RMB. I said, wow, that's very great. And they, I asked them why. They said, well, the labor wasn't nearly as much as they thought it was going to be. So, great. They showed me the old part and said, this is what we took out. This is what we put in. And I was like, okay, sounds great. Everyone told me not to go to like your neighborhood 4S shop in town unless someone recommended it. Uh, no one had any recommendations for me for a good mechanic, even though they're everywhere. And they just said, take it to the dealer. And uh, I'm glad I did. I mean, Havel, again, did a very, very good job. So now that things have started to get a little bit better here in China, you start to reflect on the past couple of months and what has happened. And I see, especially back in America, uh, most of my friends and my family are going through the exact same thing that I went through. And there's these phases. So I saw this. Um, this model, it was a three-stage model, it was a lot simpler. It really hit home because it's exactly what we are going through. The three stages are survival, acceptance, and then growth. You know, the first phase was, oh my God, what's going on? You hunker down, you, you search for as much information as you can. You start researching everything there is to know about viruses, how, they, <laughs> how they're structured, how they're spread, you know, the history of this stuff. You, consume so much news and so much social media that you end up, you know, making yourself even more scared. You find yourself becoming less productive because all your time is consumed with this. But it's something you can't control and that's another fear factor. I think uh, the uncertainty is what really gets to most people. And many of us experience this, these feelings, these emotions of sadness, longing for um, normalcy. And you find yourself getting angry with the situation, angry with people, you start pointing fingers, it's this person's fault, it's this country's fault. And I think a lot of people are still in this phase right now, they're angry. But in the end, we are all just trying to get through each and every day and hope the next day will be better. That's the survival phase. I remember it well, I think some people are still in this phase, but then you move on to the next phase, which is acceptance. You begin to savor the little things in your life and you start developing a new routine. You start learning to let go of the things that you cannot control. That is the, the start of finding peace of mind. You start understanding the, 
the freedoms that you have of uh, going out and enjoying nature and how important that is to your everyday life you, and how much you took it for granted before all of this. And then with that peace of mind comes better sleep, better health, and you start to have better relationships. Yeah, there's construction just about everywhere you go. It's almost impossible to find a quiet place. I think this area is called, like, I think it's called Emerald Cove. Kind of a hidden, kind of a private area. Um, very big houses, a lot of construction still. Another thing that I noticed is during this time of acceptance, I don't know about you guys, but I've actually increased my tech know-how during this time because using technology the best I can to communicate with people and to take care of business. This is very interesting behind me. This is a complete hospital that is not open. I mean, it's beautiful. It looks like it's completed, it's finished, it's, but it's not snapped and not open yet. Future. Take this off and finish filming my paradigm shift video. It's hot today, man. Very, very humid. <laughs> that leads me to the final stage, which is the growth stage. And it's the stage that I believe, I, well, that's a loud insect. But that's the stage that I think I am in right now. It's, well, that is very loud. It's the part where you start thinking about what your life is going to be like afterwards. What you want your life to become as a result of all of this. <sighs> ah, nature. <laughs> you can see here, they built this gearing up for the intake of the students when they come back onto the campus. Yep. In just a few more days, the students are going to start coming back. Okay. Growth. <laughs> I was able to come to my office and get some work done. Even though I'm far away from my family, and I made a video about this recently, surprisingly, I feel much more connected to my family than I did before all of this because I'm talking with them more. And so that has been a very wonderful thing. Another thing is I have a greater appreciation for the skills that I have accumulated over the last few months. And it's not just, you know, computer skills, tech skills, language skills, it's also coping skills. You face your fears head on and you're probably a better person at the end of it. Yeah, summer has arrived <laughs> here in China. It's hot and humid. It's got up to about 34 today. So, got nowhere to go but up as the summer comes. But we're ready for it. I find myself looking forward to the future. Looking forward to things getting back to normal. Looking forward to having my little adventures again. It's really exciting. When you're in the first couple phases, you really have no idea when that's gonna be and that's that uncertainty that really gets to you. But once you get into the last phase, you're ready. I'm ready. I got a couple weeks before I have to submit my passport to the government for renewal. All the preliminary stuff is getting done right now. So this weekend I thought I'd take advantage of a little time off and uh, go up to Guangzhou. Guangzhou is a wonderful city. It's got so much history and so many great things to take a look at. So I'm going to go up there for the weekend, do some exploring. Might hit up Bayoun Mountain. Generally get out of Dodge for a little while. So everyone should look forward to those videos coming out soon. Until then, hope everyone is safe. Hope everyone is happy.